Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I want to show you how to make the standard and a vertical navigation overlap on your Divi website. So this is the final result that you're aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. To make our standard and vertical navigation overlap on our website, we are going to need some CSS code. So if you'd like to follow along step by step, I will include this code in the show notes below. Okay, so the inspiration of today's tutorial came from Alex Brandt. So you can see here there's overlapping as I'm scrolling. So this is what we're trying to achieve. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's start off by adding our menu. So I'm going to come over here to our website. I'm going to come to our appearance and click menus. So right now I'm assuming that you don't have a menu set up. So if you don't, what you need to do is to come over here where it says create new menu, click on that, and then you can name your menu. I mean, and, and again, this menu, you can call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to say menu one, create menu. And then what you need to do is to add some pages onto your menu. So here you can see I have pages. So all you have to do is to click on them like that and then click on add to menu. So now you can see that our, our pages are now added to the menu. So let's say you want to add some custom links. So you can always come over here to custom links add your URL and this can be you know to your current website or to an external website and then here I'm just going to call this test so this is your custom link and then you can add it to the menu as well so you can see it's added here so once you have your menu all set and everything is uh, and you're happy with everything all you have to do now is to come over here to the bottom section and check this box which says primary menu and then what happens is your menu will be now set to your primary menu okay so I have already my menu set up so I won't go ahead and save this so the next step we need to do is to come over here to DV and click on theme customizer right so what we need to do is to create a secondary menu so we can see here this is our main menu so what we need is a secondary menu so to do that I'm gonna come over here to header and navigation click on header elements and then we need to just add some social icons and if we want we can add a phone number so I'm just gonna add zero one two three four five six seven eight nine but you can obviously enter the right email address and phone number so I'm just gonna enter my email address here like that okay and then I'm just gonna click on save and publish for now so this won't show until we refresh this page so I'm just gonna refresh this quickly so we can see that uh, secondary navigation now we can see that it's there okay so the next thing we need to do is to add our vertical menu so to do that we're going to come back over here to header and navigation and we need to go to header format so here this is where now you can enable your vertical navigation so I'm going to click on enable vertical navigation so now our vertical navigation is now on the left but the problem now is our text here is white so we can't really see it so we need to adjust that and obviously this depends on how you set up your website so these colors may work for you if you have a dark color here but for now I'm just gonna go back to my primary menu and then I'm gonna come over here to text color and change it to a color that stands out on that white background so I'm just gonna add that gray in there that looks fine and I'm gonna click on save and publish and then I'm just going to close out of this and we're just going to do a quick preview. Right, so I've opened the site in a new tab. So now we can see if I try to scroll, uh, this actually, you know, scrolls with the website. So we're trying to fix that. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is to add our CSS code. So let's go back to our website here. I'm going to come to Divi. I'm going to come over here to Theme Customizer. And then all the way down here, there's additional CSS. We need to click on that. And this is where we need to paste our CSS code. So I'm going to paste my CSS code like that. Now, the next step is, in fact, I'm just going to get out of this. The next step is to disable the fixed navigation. So I'm going to come over here to DV, click on theme options. And over here where we have fixed navigation bar, I'm going to click on disabled. And then I'm just going to come over here and save. Okay, so with that saved, let's uh, exit out of this and add a bit more CSS to do the final changes. So I'm going to come back over here to Appearance. In fact, I'm going to come over here to Theme Customizer, go to Additional CSS, and we're going to add our last CSS code. Okay, so I'm going to Save and Publish. 
And then once we've saved, we can go ahead and close out of this and let's do our preview. Okay, so when we take a look at our preview, when I scroll up and down, we can see now that um, this is working fine. So our secondary navigation is now there overlapping on the top. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer those. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.